We are now on the halfway on discovering new form of knowledge. So however, it becomes the most crucial part on developing and creating conclusion. The most common questions regarding the process in conducting research is how will you measure variables? Measurement and levels of measurement. Why measure? Measure is important in research. Measure aim to ascertain in the dimension, quantity, or capacity of the behaviors or events that the researcher wants to explore. It allows us to describe differences between people in terms of the characteristic in question. It gives us a consistent device for making distinction. It also provides the basis for more precise estimates of the degree of relationship between concepts. So in simple words, measurement helps the researcher to count the information needed. This is also a tool to do evaluation and making inferences. For instance, you want to determine if your profit increased from the previous week's sale. So, saan ka magi start You know already your objectives and done gathering other related information. Next, we'll be planning how will you gather data. So, you need a tool. Tool that will help you to describe and gives you an idea if the profit increases. In collecting the data that you needed, as a researcher, you should learn and need to be familiar with what type of data you could gather, either it is qualitative data or quantitative data. Based on the definition, qualitative data is information that can be expressed as a number. Data cannot be counted. The data type could be words, object, pictures, observation, and symbols, while in quantitative data is the data that can be expressed as a number or can be quantified. It can be counted. The data type are numbers and statistics. So these are the example of qualitative data and quantitative data. For qualitative data, we have the names such as James, John, Patricia, Mary, the smell, or the colors. While in quantitative data, it may refer to scores on exam, the weight of the person, or shoe size. Let's say the researcher wants to research or want to know something about oil painting canvas. What do you think will be the data that we can collect from this oil, oil painting canvas? So, ano ba yung mga pwede? Let's say, let us describe this painting. If we're talking about the peaceful scene, Nature, if you will describe the oil painting using the colors there, the blue, orange, green, and red, and white. The texture shown brush stroke of oil paint, those belongs to qualitative data. Or it may refer to a qualitative data. But when you describe the painting as the picture is 10 by 14, the weight is 8.5 pounds, the frame is 14 by 18 the surface area of painting is 140 square inches. So those are quantitative data. So quantitative and qualitative data example. In quantitative, you can see there, there is the land, area, volume, weight. While in qualitative, 
verbal, and written feedback, narrative story, visual image, drawing, or models. Qualitative data is also known as categorical, while in quantitative data, it refers to numerical data. Data from this measurement can be classified according to its level. These four levels at which you measure a variable determines how you can analyze your data. Nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio level. It is important to understand the difference between them because the type of data determines which statistics methods, or tests we can use. Nominal and ordinal data cannot be used in calculations because they are belongs to categorical or qualitative data, while interval and ratio data can be calculated. We often try to use scales with the highest data level possible because we can do more powerful statistical treatment or analysis remember for this different level of measurement in nominal the data can only be categorized ordinal can be categorized and rank in interval the data can be categorized rank and evenly spaced while in ratio the data are categorized rank evenly space and has natural zero now in categorical data the first level is the nominal level so the nominal level defined as variables whose value has no mathematical interpretation they vary in kind or quality but not in amount whose categories cannot be ranked order and has name values only. Variables of this type have at least two categories, as which sex, proposition, school attendance, country, president, race, and religion. Inclusion in category is binary, a subject either belongs or does not belongs. For example, of nominal data, gender, either you are woman or men, hair color, housing style, marital status, ethnicity. Commonly, this could be the format in a survey research instrument. Next levels of measurement is ordinal level. It is defined as variables whose categories can be rank ordered but the distance between the categories are not equal across the range examples are a social class opinion solicited on a questionnaire job position in order the intervals between rank are not assumed to be equal thus the differences difference the between the first and second is not necessarily the same as the difference between the second and Third, for example, the first, second, and third person in competition, the economic status, low, medium, and high. Letter grades, educational, uh, education level attainment is either elementary, high school, college graduate. Customer level of satisfaction, such as satisfied, neutral, dissatisfied. These are the example of research questions in a survey that you could have ordinal data. How do you feel today? Very unhappy, unhappy, okay, happy, very happy. How satisfied are you in our service? What is your educational background? Kanina, we talk about the importance of each level and how higher level could do something more in analysis compared to lower level. So, 
This is the illustration of how ordinal data can do deeper investigation and gives more meaningful measurements. In nominal, you can say that there is a presence of A, B, C, D. While in ordinal, where the char its characteristic can be sorted, you may say that there is a presence of A, B, C, and D. But you may also state there that A is less than B, where B is less than C, and C is less than D. Whereas, this arrangement cannot be done in nominal data. So, in ordinal, you can say na si D ay mas matake kay A. Unlike in nominal, hindi mo pwede sabihin na si A ay mas maliit kay D. Because based on the illustration, nominal only gives you the characteristics or you identify the letters. Why in ordinal, pwede siyang naka-arrange. Next level is metric. So, the distances between the values can be calculated. So, this time, in metric, you can identify specifically how long are the distance of two characteristics. In ordinal, you know na si A ay mas maliit kay B, si B ay mas maliit kay C. Pero, hindi mo alam kung gaano kalaki ang difference nilang dalawa. Meanwhile, in matrix, pwede mo siyang Ma-calculate matrix variables a variable measured quantitatively. Interval data can have matrix measurement. By definition, variables where our distances between the categories are identical across the range, but there is no zero point where the traits do not exist. For example, scores in 10 items test quiz. Zero means Zero score means there is no correct answer. Here, you can categorize, rank, and infer equal intervals between neighboring data points, but there is no true zero points. Other examples are personality inventories and temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius. The difference between any two adjacent temperature is the same, one degree, but zero degree is defined differently depending on the scale. It doesn't mean an absolute absence of temperature. What you see here are the research instruments that could have interval data. For example, the Rosenberg self-esteem scales. Another from numerical group is ratio level. Ratio is the highest level of measurement. Meaning, all the characteristic and analysis can do in ratio levels. It is defined as the variable where the distances between the categories are identical across the range, but there is an absolute zero, and it has meaning. There is nothing there. H is considered as ratio and continuous. It has absolute zero, and the difference between them is meaningful. Absolute zero is the same as when a person age zero means he is not existing or alive. Another examples are height and weight. When you say the height and the weight of a person is zero, meaning he is not even alive. Right? In racial level, you can categorize, rank, and infer equal intervals between the neighboring data points. And there is a true zero point. For example, you want to measure the variable income. The table presented the difference between the ordinal and ratio scale. Ordinal shows in a income bracket, the bracket 1, bracket 2, bracket 3. While ratio revealed the exact incomes. As you can see, you can define or determine the difference of the participant's income in ratio. You can see the differences between A and B. Incomes is far greater than the difference between B and C incomes. Unlike in ordinal, you only see the bracket for each participant and not the exact amount 
So you cannot determine the difference between the participant's income. So between the two given scale or level, which could give deeper and more meaningful analysis? An ordinal or racial level? Again, so there are four levels of measurement. So the first level is nominal, the name variables. The next level is ordinal, give the name, and with ordered variables. Next is interval, name, ordered, and proportionate interval between variables. And last, the highest levels of measurement is ratio, the name, ordered, proportionate interval between variables, and can accommodate absolute zero. Absolute zero means the zero defined as impossible. So let us summarize our lessons. So it's about the four level of measurement, the nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. Let's say the nominal, the number assigned to the runners. We have seven, eight, and three. While in ordinal, the rank order of the winners, the third place, second place, and first place. Interval, the performance rating on a 0 to 10 scale, so runner 7 got 8.2, runner 8 got 9.1, runner 3 is 9.6. So there, the 0 to 10 scales performance rating, where 0 means the performance of the runner is 4. While in ratio, it measures like uh, time to finish in seconds. Runner 7 finished the race in 15.2 while the runner 8 is in 14.1 seconds. Runner 3 finished the race in 13.4 seconds. So while in this given example, the ratio refers to a seconds in which the runner finished the race. There, when you say the runner got zero seconds to finish the race meaning the runner is not existing or you are not only referring to a poor performance which means the runner is so fast to finish the race in zero seconds which is very impossible so there in ratio there is an absolute Zero. Hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video. Bye!